Hi there, great to see you on YouTube. I don't often do YouTube lives um, and I've just come off a of Facebook live. Now I've had an issue loading my video, it didn't want to load it. So I thought, oh, why don't I come on YouTube live? So um, this is me, this is <laughs> the face behind the camera. Sorry, I'm holding my phone at the moment because once I put it on my stand, it goes a little bit wobbly. So um, do say hello if this is your first time um, or if you're a regular to watching my channel. I'm about to make my very own um, clipboard so I can see Bev joining. Welcome Bev, thank you so much. And hello Kay, thank you. Some A few familiar faces and friends. So sorry if you've seen this already, but not sorry because this might be the first time watching this and you might learn something new. This might not be something, maybe you've stumbled across my channel, but um, I do just follow, you might see something that you like and um, it might open a whole new world of possibilities. So I'm hoping this is as easy as other lives where I can just swap around the camera. It looks like I can, so this is good. I don't know what the um, delay is. Vicky's just said hello. Hi, Vicky. Um, and I'm going to just point the camera down and talk you through the process. So hello, Bobby. <laughs> right, let's turn you around and clip you on. So um, yes, this is me showing you how I've made some of my own clipboards. Now I'm hoping to give these to my customers, sorry I'm just trying to put you in position on my stand, um, for my catalogue launch and the idea behind this was um, one, I had this paper available. Um, this is some new paper coming out in the June catalogue, the Stampin' Up! catalogue, and it's a great way to showcase the paper, great way to show my customers how they can use the paper, and just a pretty little um, gift for to go home with. Um, so it's going to be a, a catalogue launch, a stroke customer appreciation, stroke chance to place an order and sell some of my um, retired products. So all you need to, to do is get yourself a piece of cardboard. It doesn't really matter what size it is. Hopefully you can just do it whatever size you want. So Bobby says, looking forward to my clips to come in so I can make this. So Bob, I've told my friend Bobby about this and he's going to order some clips. Good afternoon, Cindy. Thank you so much for joining. I don't know if it's possible to share out the video. Um, if it is and you know how, I'd appreciate the support if you want to share this out to any crafty friends or um, anyone that might want to watch. Oh, Kay's ordered some clips already. I've got everybody on making these little clipboards now. Only two people at the moment. <laughs> Right, so you need to get yourself a piece of cardboard. Cardboard is obviously so widely available these days. You can um, get them on cereal packets or just generally packaging. So this particular piece of card happens to be six and a half inches by eight and three quarters. I tend to work with inches now, to be honest. It's, it's a bit easier round number to work with. Hi, I can see Ellie joining. Thank you so much for joining. Um, yeah, I don't know if I've done a YouTube live before, but um, yeah, this is quite fun. Right, let's get started. So I was toying with which side paper to use, the lovely hummingbirds or this more muted green. So you get a vote. As I've got some live viewers, you can vote. Would you like the hummingbirds or would you like the lovely mint macaron side? Hummingbirds, obviously, you've got lots of different colours to choose from. I think I was hesitating because I've made a hummingbird one already. I'll just, while I wait for the votes to come in, I'll just um, put those down so you can see what they look like. So, um, Vicky's saying the board that comes with the foil 12 by 12 inch paper would be good. Yes. So most of our um, papers come with a cardboard backing, like foil and things like that. Um, one vote for the, two votes for the, three votes for the hummingbird side. Great. Okay, so let's do the hummingbird side. So I'm just going to turn it over so it'll be a bit easier to see what we're doing. So I, when I did my Facebook Live just now, I kind of cut it a bit short. So I'm making sure that I don't cut it too short this time and cut it a bit better. So you want a good bit of edging around the outside, about um, an inch guesstimating. So like I said, this actual piece of cardboard is six and a half by eight and three quarters. So I'm going to cut at the eight inch mark and I'm going to turn that round and cut it at the 10 inch 
position. So look, as you can see, I've got a nice border around the edge for folding, okay? Now, in order to, I mean, what I could just go and do is just fold this straight up, but you will find that um, it's a bit more difficult to do unless you actually crease it. Sorry, I've just noticed this is on my desk. I made a card earlier and it's a little um, flower bud. So I'm just going to push that to the side. It's a little bit distracting, isn't it? So I'm using the um, take your pick tool and these come with different heads so you can unscrew it and change it and then there's some other heads that go with this also in my box so it comes with a scoring tool a pokey tool and a little spatula and then the other side which I've taken out is like a glue tip um not a glue but um like a special pick, pick me up kind of tool for picking up little embellishments and sequins so I'm going to use the finer ball point tip oops <laughs> I'm trying to put it in the wrong end there we go and you just uh, pop it in and screw it around to lock it okay so we're just I'm just using this to score around the edging of my paper and this just gives a nice crease as to where you're going to crease your paper so just running it down all sides you've got to hold pretty close to the edge of the cardboard otherwise you find that if you're trying to do it freehand it does tend to look like that it will lift up the cardboard so you want to kind of go upright press fairly firmly I mean obviously if your paper's nice and thick you can press down quite hard but just be careful you don't go through your paper all right so, and then at this stage, we're just doing a lift and encouraging the paper fibres to come over on every side. So do let me know if this is your first time watching. I noticed the little arrows come up, so that means, oh, it's all right, it's just where the comments are. Um, I do regular videos on YouTube. As I said, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I've done a live before, maybe one live. But um, I post regular videos here on YouTube once a week at least. I try and post my Facebook lives if in case people have missed it. Oh look, I'm I'm a bit off there. I'm too busy talking and not enough watching. And what else was I going to say to you? I don't know if you watch Periscope. It's another social media platform I'm on sometimes on there too. Okay, so hopefully you can see the creases. I'm going to cut across to create like a beveled edge. Make sure you don't go too close to your corner, okay? You want to kind of slice just by it rather than on top of it, okay? To make sure you've got enough paper to cover. Now, like I said, I've not measured this very well, but don't worry because it's going to be covered up anyway. So don't worry too much. We like to cover mistakes over us crafters. There we go. Like you can like you can see, I've not measured anything, I'm just cutting away. So we can put our cardboard back in, it doesn't matter which side it goes up, it doesn't matter about the writing because that's going to be covered. And then we're just going to use this multi-purpose glue to stick down our edges. So I'm just going to sit that down like that. So it takes about 10-ish seconds for it to stick fast while we're letting this stick can I ask a favour that you can share this out never know who's going to join who's going to watch who's going to discover a new channel to watch never know it could be a hobby of a lifetime <laughs> um, my details are around somewhere they've disappeared underneath the mountain of papers here we go Oh, I've got a thumbs up. Hey, that's so cool. I can see it on my screen. Thank you for the thumbs up. Okay, so I tend to do the shorter side first, just because it's the easiest side. And then go in with the longer side. Oh, two thumbs up going up. Thank you, everybody, for the encouragement. So this is kind of, well, kind of created. This is creating like a bit. I must stop saying like and words like that this it creates a uh, beveled 
edge. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Slam that thumbs up, folks. Thank you, Bobby, for the encouragement. It's Mary's first time. Lovely to see you, Mary. Thank you so much for joining me. It's great to have the encouragement of folks on YouTube. Now, somewhere under my pile of papers, here's one I made earlier. Because I'm in the UK, we use A4 size papers. So this is literally cut in half. Don't ask me what it is in American sizing. Here it goes. So it's near the six inch. <laughs> oh, I don't like the eighths and the sixteenths. I need one of those special rulers. And about eight and a quarter ish. -y. There you go. Work it out for yourself. <laughs> Uh, if you want to keep this a short video, right, don't ask me to measure anything. <laughs> okay, so I'm using some of our Stamp It Up Very Vanilla cardstock because Very, van very Vanilla features um, in the colours that they use to make this paper. Now, the great thing about Stamp It Up papers is they tell you in their packaging what colours are included in their papers that they have used. So um, on the label here, it will show you all the different colours featured in this. So if you wanted to make a matching card, there is a matching stamp set to go with this that's available from June the 4th. And um, so if you wanted to, to coordinate with things that you've got already or make something with those colours, then you've got it to go with it. Also, now, remind me, this is called a thermographic um, something or other. We've got this beautiful sheen on all the images. So if I just show you these, hopefully the light will pick up on the shine on the papers. Now, it's obviously on one side. This is the plainer side and that's the shiny side. So this gives you a good like glimpse of all the kind of muted colours and all the lovely different papers available. Um, thermographic coating, thank you. <laughs> Darlene's joined and she says she still loves the hummingbirds. You can't get enough hummingbirds, can you? Um, well, I'm just sorry, just reading comments, made sure I haven't missed anything. So, I'm um, with this idea, I did look into getting um, these sort of clipboards here which I was thinking, oh, I could get one of these and I could cover the back in nice paper. And then I thought, well, I could do that myself, maybe. And I, I looked into these clipboard clips, but they look a bit technical because you've got to have um, special screws and things. I don't know, I haven't got a clue. So um, instead, I researched these bulldog clips and they come in different colours, silver, gold, and this beautiful rose gold, which rather partial to and I thought oh rose gold would look lovely with the set of papers I thought they were very in keeping so I thought oh I could have used gold or silver but rose, rose gold just hits the spot so um, I'll try and remember to put an Amazon link as to where I got these from these are the two inch border clips because I thought the one inch ones would just be a little bit too small so nice and easy nice and professional looking get it all covered and Bob's your uncle, there you have it, a lovely clipboard. So these are going to be used for my catalogue launch and I'm going to put a shopping list attached to it and then my customers get to take these home with them as um, a little customer appreciation gift also. Um, also, I mean, I tried to start putting a cutting down ribbon. I did cut it down a little bit too small, but you can obviously decorate the tops with some pretty matching ribbon also. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, great to have you join me and really nice to see people on YouTube. Um, do subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribing already for plenty of the videos. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and let me know if you give it a go. I know there's a couple of you out there that um, are keen to get going with your very own clipboards. And obviously you can customise them to your size, whatever size you want. You could put magnets on the back, they can attach to a fridge. Just be careful where you put your magnets. They're probably gonna have to be on the actual clip themselves or along the bar to make sure that it sticks. So, um, should I try turning the camera again? Let's try one more time. I'm gonna just hold on to your lunches, breakfasts or dinners. 
supposed to avoid seeing all my mess on my table. <laughs> and just get to see the mess behind me instead. Oh dear, there we are. This is me. Thank you so much. Clips link, I will try and remember to put that on. Thank you for the reminder, Bobby. Um, they come from Amazon, good old Amazon. So um, if you're in the UK and you'd like a new catalogue that's going to go live on the 4th of June, do get in touch, leave me a message, or you can contact me via one way or another on these social medias. So thank you very much again. Nice to see you. Good evening. Don't forget to attach my details on the back. That's a really good point. Thank you, Kay. I will go and do that now. Right, off to get some more work done. Thank you so much for joining me. Great to see you. I've got to try and find how to end the video now. Um, I'm hoping if I just press the X, something will happen. <laughs>